have nothing left to teach you, Padawan. Though a Jedi is... The lessons that yet await you are to be found now that the first stage of your training is complete. I... I took the loss of my droid much too hard. I feel I must apologize. Unfortunately, I have none to give. Otherwise, I would. But I still feel I must explain myself. I suppose I came across a little odd. I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that was left of my husband, you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again, be with me still. But I went too far. I could not see what was missing in living a normal life. Fortunately, in my grief, I returned here and ran into Samt, an absolutely fascinating man. Well, if his ego is similarly halved, he should be just about right. Samt and I got to talking, and, well, we have a lot in common. I think we'll be seeing more of each other. It's funny how things work out in the end. Maybe there is such a thing as fate, after all. But I think we should be going now. We have so much more to talk about. I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me, and what you tried to do. Goodbye, and thank you.
What can I do? Uh huh. Yes? Thank you for exacting my revenge on those Mandalorian beasts. If only I This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? The council. If you are here, because of Shen Lapari's disappearance. Very well. We wish no trouble with the Jedi Council. We are at left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. That's quite a line. You actually believe that? Don't you think someone is allowed to value privacy? Privacy is all well and good, but justice must be valued higher. Is it not obvious to you that this man hides something? Actually, it is. All I'm saying is that not everyone welcomes the sight of a Jedi with open arms. Better get used to it. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? I... I thought you would listen to me. I thought the Jedi were compassionate and kind. I shouldn't have spoken to you at all. I've just made everything worse. The Council would not approve of your actions here. Perhaps we should find this girl and try to help her. You made your wishes clear to me the last time we talked. I won't bother you. Apologize? Then you will help me. My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. Yes, Cassus was my brother. He was working on archaeological digs here in Dantooine when he disappeared. My father blamed Alan Metale and his son. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are mad... My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales. A way to get... I see. Well, there is the answer. You don't think that perhaps there's more to look at here, do you? That... Of course not. It seems very simple to me. The... No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him. I'm afraid my father will simply kill Shen. 
Shen is an innocent vic- Please, find Shen and take this key. It will open and- There are many security droids guard- Alan Matale and my father. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his- My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now- Please find Shen. Please find- There are- Please- Murek has nothing more to- My orders are clear. Yes? Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. What? 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 No problem. Didn't work. I'm here. Yes? 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 What can I do? What? <laughs>
Please find Shen. There are many. Please. No problem. Got it. Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? As you wish. I have no quarrel with you. Who are you? Rescue me. No, I won't leave. It's too dangerous. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. 
If I escape, Nurik will thank Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. If you do that, I'll scream my head off and alert all the guards in the house. If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Thank you. I wish... What are you doing here? Have you found Shen yet? Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will- You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia! Oh, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you've done for us. What? You, you're just doing this for the reward? How could you? I thought you... There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandro! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing! I knew you had captured my son! You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. No, Father, don't do this. We don't always need to be fighting like this. It's gone too far for that, Rahasia. Alan has crossed the line one too many times. Ha! For what you've done to me and my family, I will see you dead and rotting in the ground. Are you mad? They will slaughter each other. No, don't! This... this has all gone horribly wrong somewhere. Arlen, what can we be thinking? How could we have let this go this far? We are at each other's throats now, fighting over our children's lives when they are old enough to live their own. He is my son! How can he disrespect my wishes like this? What? No, no! I never did anything to your son! I... I knew you were lying, you dog! I just think I thought it might not have been you, so I'll take your son from you! Father, no! Don't do it! Die! Shen! Die! I'll kill you! The master has been injured. Terminate all opposition. Destroy the invaders! <laughs>
I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. <laughs> I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? <laughs> It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered. Ten revolutions would take more than twenty thousand years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly five thousand years older than the Republic itself. There must be some mistake. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy. But they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no... The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. Maybe that might explain how the Sith. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. <laughs> The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate. Revan and Malik unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starfall. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to...
must be what Revan and Malak found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. This is a, a map, some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malak must have used this to lead them to the Starforge. We could... I, I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more, but I think this map might be the key to finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashyyyk, and Tatooine, and here's Manan. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Starforge itself might be. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Starforge, but I know that Revan and Malak visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge. In some way to destroy it. That sounds like quite a supposition. What if you're wrong? What if I'm right? We can't ignore this. Finding the Starforge might very well be the key to defeating the Sith. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. I'm here. Run. Yes? Yes, what's on your mind? Have I been quiet? Suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. You want to be smart, do you? Fine. So long as I get some questions answered. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on, and why they didn't keep you on down to wing for training. Isn't that strange? And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they... don't they have to train you? A bond? What kind of bond? 
You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? <laughs> I have trouble believing that. I've been watching you. You can be cruel and impulsive, a Jedi without self-control or training, and yet the Council send you on your way. Why? I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. And what does that mean? Is this more of that destiny garbage that the Jedi keep talking about? Well, that can't be it. Well, I'll tell you this much, I'm not gonna wait around until I'm betrayed again. Fine, you got it. Conversation over. Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul, not... No, no, forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's, let's just get on with what we were doing. that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan. You have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this star forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the Dark Side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star... The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. 
Keep the example of Johanny fresh in your mind. You may need a reminder of the dangers of... Of course, those who aided you on Terrace will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning on Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. May the Force be... Miki Grabble Mogo, Kachichu Ita Bodunga, Tolba Bank, Waleo Ganda Nalu Chuchut, Mogesha Punka, Bola Wana Chikne, Pamule Slimo Tong Haitwam Jiji Jung Lumpa, Nita Kachikun Ita Hodunga, Yikin Kuno Pamule Rachiku. Slimo po donar undi hodunga ku hunka be. Runda di hodunga ku hunka be. Wana kun be ta kung jus tak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita po dunga. Tolba bank wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punga bola wana chikne. Pamule slimo podadana nanga kumbist ule rabest. Runda di hotonga kun hanga mi. Chikun ita hodonga, yikin kuno pa mulera chikun. Slimo po dona rundi hodonga ku hunka be. Ka chikun ita hodonga, mucho shak pa khat. Ki no no nama pa ole rachikun. Mickey, grab a tongue, hate one. Kachikun ita hodonga, yikin kuno pa mulera chikun. Slimo podona, rundi hodonga ku hunka be.
can I help? No, not bothering you. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two. There is a bond between us. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. Necessary, perhaps, but it is no guarantee of our success. I admit, I'm a little disturbed that such a bond could be possible in the first place. I saw your service records when you were... Don't worry, these are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Good. On which planet were you born? Excellent. The current age is... we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. We can speak again later. Sorry, I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there and now it's... it's... it's just... What? How can you be so cruel? Millions of people dead and all you can say is get over it? Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just... it's a shock, you know? I mean, but I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Hey there, what can I do? I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's my brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, great. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. I'm not going to pretend Griff wasn't a hustler. I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stopped. I saw Lena for what she really was, a busty, credit-grubbing... After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me. And we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went.
Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff but good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget. I know I'll probably never see Griff. Don't worry. Want to practice your skill? Thank <laughs> you.